Well, hello. Welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, joined with my husband, Jason. Okay. <laughs> and today we're working on the bison horns. And right now you're looking at the full picture of the bison, hopefully. And then we are going to be working on these horns right here. So we're just going to get started. Been playing around with OBS. Hopefully everything sounds good and is working. For some reason, oh, there's a delay. Got to remember, there's a delay. <laughs> Hi, Eve. Awesome. Sounds good. Can you hear Jason? Can you hear me? <laughs> All right. Or did you? Or did your fancy software edit me out? No, it didn't edit you out. We'll see. Okay. You so... may not be able to hear me. <laughs> well, you got to <laughs> give her a minute. Eva, let us know. There's no reason not to hear you. Okay, we're looking at it sideways because that's the easiest angle for me to get to it. And I think I am going to start with... Oh, it says yes, but faint on, on you. Mm-hmm. Bummer. So talk louder. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start with the uh, Burnmaster Eagle Spoon Shader. And I need to pop up my reference. So I can, so I can somewhat hear. Let's see. Let's see. There's a lot of detail in the horn. And I wish I could give you a bigger picture. Um, I might be able to. That's the horn. Don't think I can get any bigger on that. Hey, Bubba. We're working on. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start, I think, with the little darker shading here. Right here, it doesn't, the horn's not straight because there is hair that goes over it. But. Dorothy, waiting for it to heat up. Right about two. And again, this is my first layer of learning, so I'm not going to go too dark. I need to be able to have some room. Right here, Ooh, that was, didn't expect that brightness. The horn here, the shading is not like black. You can see all the texture. So we don't start off too dark. Right, so I'm gonna go a little, a little lighter. Here we go. I'm not going to out, I don't want to do an outline. This pencil will get erased. And because this is dark here, it's really going to pop out the horn. All the underneath. Ricky. Says hi, I finally can see you live. That's Ricky, the one over in Portugal. Mm. 
spe something special going on. That sounds bad. Yeah, what's going on? Not that kind of special. Only, only for you, my hubcap. <laughs> the old black? I hope so. I do not have all of the <coughs> texture of the horn drawn in because one that's a lot of lines and I don't want to burn the pencil the graphite in so how far we go about that far <sighs> I don't know if they heard that or not So, we could ask them if they just heard a big truck. Yes. With its engine brakes. We could. Of course, they might not be able to hear me, which means that the software is working. Oh, good point. Because I'm right next to the mic. There, hopefully that's better. It's going to take a few seconds for it to line back up. Oh yeah, because it was covering up the your thumbnail was yeah, covering up the your actual work. Yeah. With the horn, luckily, similar to the hair, you don't have to get every little <coughs> line in there. It's really about the contrast. Ricardo says the bison is a great subject, but it's very hard to make. I've never tried to make a bison. Well, I know what he means. <laughs> I do too. It is a lot of de lot of detail, Ricky. And this would be my first one. Let's see here. Right here is the light part. Hopefully you can see that on the photo. This is me designating the light part so I don't burn into it. But it does get lighter right here. So I have to be careful. And every time I lift my tip off the board, it reheats and goes back to the setting that it's on. And the faster I move it, the lighter the burn or I can go slow and get a darker burn. It's always nice when I can erase the pencil line because then I can really see what I've got. Yeah, we're in a consistent 20 second delay. Oh goodness. In fact, if the video isn't clear for you, up on the um, top right of your YouTube screen, if you're mobile and bottom left, or bottom right, if you're on the computer, there should be a little gear icon. Um, definitely up your resolution because we should be at 1080p. Finally, was able to <laughs> achieve 1080p. Let me see here. How far can I go? All's feeling okay, and around. 11 so about 15 minutes we'll do the drawing 
for the chart pack markers. Yay! And I would be moving my board around trying to get the angle that I need, but it would definitely <coughs> make you guys dizzy. Not me being able to burn on the watercolor paper as I can just flip it around because it's smaller. Let's see here. I did draw light right here so don't want to put that in and then we've also got dark horn versus uh, shadow and highlights so had to work with that this comes up to that point landmarks to Make sure. Because <coughs> it looks like I didn't draw it in. A lot of times I go back with a regular pencil and revamp my pattern. I did not do that here. Dorothy is asking, did I lose sound? Are you in the zone? <laughs> I guess I was in the zone, Dorothy. Sorry. I was talking. Can it, Can people hear us now? Can you hear oh, us now? Oh, she says got it back. Sorry. Um, it, it might have been something on her end. Maybe. <clears throat> Let's see here. It is hard for me not to get into a zone and to remind myself to keep talking. <coughs> That's why I'm here. So tell me a story. <laughs> work harder, work faster. <laughs> no stories. I'm looking at my photo upright, but I'm burning sideways. So my brain's having to um, translate. Yeah. Normally I have a picture up on my board, but I forgot to print one out. Do you want me to rotate that? So it's the same orientation? like I'm going into this song because I'm not trying to translate. Whoa. Well, I just got quite a bit smaller. There we go. Like hey. Okay. You okay. More sand? More sand. No, that's fine. Okay. That's better. Thank y'all. Okay. <coughs> When it's just me working and whatnot, I can do that. Just view my photo, leave my photo alone. <clears throat> You're playing with it. I'm, I'm, oh, so you can see. Okay. So I can see chat. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Goofy. Fortunately, I may have burned it a bit into the board. Hmm. Ricardo says he had no sound also, so maybe it was something on our end. Huh. <sighs> uh, Roseanne Davis says, hello everyone. And Pancho Macho says, hi Val. Great project. Lots and lots of detail. I think this is one of going to be one of the greatest burns you have done. 
<laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Best wishes from Yuma. Oh, hey Yuma. <coughs> We're up in Flagstaff. I've got a bunch of family down in Yuma, Poncho. In fact, are you family? <laughs> and hi, Roseanne. And yeah, no pressure on me now, Poncho. <laughs> I don't know if this will be my best ever. I think it will. I do try to improve with each one. Oh, you keep moving. Sorry. <laughs> I had to adjust. Am I helping? Yes, you're helping. Or you're am always, I hindering? You're always I'm helping. Help that hinders. <laughs> you're always helping. I appreciate your help. Let's see here. There's definitely a lot of detail in this horn. Yeah. Um, now I'm really just trying to block in and I'm trying to be good about not adding so much detail when I first start. And Eve says it's off to a great start. Is it zoomed in enough for uh, the burning part? Because in Google Hangouts, I can zoom in like really close, but <coughs> for OBS, I can't. Where's our rain? lines it's hard I know it's hard for you guys to see on the reference photo because if we make it any bigger then it covers where I'm burning um, there's a lot of lines in here Some broadcast software. Oh, okay. It is a free software that allows you to do what we're doing and make videos, but I, I don't use it to make the videos. Mm. Now, all of the horn will be burned, um, except maybe on the very tip where there's a very high highlight, and there's a few highlights right in this area that I'm not going to burn. I don't think. If I get the dreaded blob from touchdown, again, that's okay because there are all kinds of texture on the horn. are not helping so I'm going to take them away I have my base area Let's see here. and that eraser is the Vanish 4 and 1 eraser it, from what I can tell from all the erasers I've used it works the best on wood um, and I've only been able to find them um, through Jerry's Artorama. Hmm. So I do still have some pencil line, but I'm going to be okay with that as I can burn it in. I'm trying to erase with the grain, but whatever works. Ricardo seems to be having a problem with the sound, and he asked if anybody else was, and Poncho says no, that he is not having trouble. Hmm. If anybody else has trouble, let us know. Um, Ricky, try restarting uh, YouTube and come back in and see if that helps you. We may have some YouTube gremlins who decided to come play. Hopefully not.
Huh. Problems. Hi, Andrew. Well, give me a few seconds to check the mic. See if me, because go ahead and hit the buffalo down so I can see OBS, please. Just click on OBS and it'll bring it to the front window. Is this here? Yeah. Um, left and hit, click on the number one track and see if that helps. Yes. Yep. Red, you see what, yeah, that, and click that. Okay, okay is that, that any better? better? It, yeah, yeah, it means we've got, got two audios going. going. Hopefully, Hopefully that's, that's not. Hi, Andrew. Hopefully, Hopefully that doesn't echo it. it. Okay, if it does, then I'm we'll move that. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hopefully that's better. Okay, you're having a double audio. Oh, okay. And then like, just mute it. Okay, is that better? <sighs> you try. He's getting. Uh, Well, right now we're on single, so we have to wait for them. Yeah. No echo. Okay. Bubba. Okay, that's off, so we know that. Okay, so maybe that mic adjustment helped. Is that all better now? <clears throat> you have an echo. Okay, is now are we echoing? I will get this down, and we will have awesome lives in the future. Ah, so frustrating. I appreciate you guys sticking around and helping. He says yes, thank you. Oh, good. <coughs> okay, so hopefully that's better for us. It might be the. I wonder if I take off the compressor. Hmm? Okay, oh, Andrew, I'm not gonna stop burning. Is that any better? I just took all the filters off the mic and hopefully we won't have that fading out anymore and everything will balance out and maybe they can hear me and maybe they can hear you let us know what uh, how the audio sounds because we got to do the drawing pretty soon oh yes Oh, and Poncho said that he wants to go to the Mesa Woodworking Show next year. Are you going to enter that? Um, it depends on how many I have available. Mm. That's awesome, Poncho. Definitely keep us in um in the loop. Well, let's see. That's next February, so. Will you be entering for uh, pyrography? Let's go this way. Burned over this area. It's not burning darker. Why is that? Because the wood's already 
is I'm going quicker and it makes it lighter and the area is already because basically we're damaging the wood I'm damaging the wood to get these marks and when you go lighter it just doesn't pick it up oh, okay so you have to exceed the yes the threshold of damage that you're doing yes so you have to burn it more right now it's looking it's not looking very detailed and that's because I'm just putting in the first layers Andrew Smith says perfect it may be better if you sing <laughs> no. you sing that's not gonna happen not, yeah he doesn't even sing for me I feel bad because I do I start I do these lives and I start pieces but I can't finish them so people can see what the finished piece looks like like well, we, there's no instant gratification on this at well, all we need to show them Eddie I okay we'll do that after I kept it by me okay we'll, we'll but I think that that's an object lesson for for people who do pyrography is that there is no instant gratification that's true <laughs> Ever. It takes time. And remember, the horns aren't flat, they are curved, and so we want to make sure we get that curviness in so the lines have to go Ricardo, along with the horn. <laughs> Ricardo says he's leaving work now and he hopes that he can still see you live when he gets home. Oh, drive fast. <laughs> oh, well, drive fast, take lots of chances, which means be careful. Get home safe. Eve is asking, how many layers do you usually end up burning? And oh, goodness. Um, let's see here. With Eddie the cat, I've done just on him at least four layers. Eve also says, almost at 1K subscribers. Yay. Actually, she probably <laughs> didn't say it like that. It was probably more exciting. <laughs> and you know, I can't wait. We're so close to 1K. How close are we? Um, when I checked this morning, it was 958. Oh, yeah. I see that. Okay. Yep. 958. Yeah. Don't want it to look uh, flat. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and, even though I would do the whole horn <coughs> in the first layer, I'm going to try to at least start another layer so you can see how it progresses. Mm -hmm. I may not be able to obviously finish the whole thing. <laughs> he says, yeah, it was, Jason needs to work on his delivery. Cotton Cho says, I just want to see in person the art and buy some goodies and say to you and your husband, I'll be happy to meet you guys in person. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Last year, or this, this year, getting to the woodworker show did not work out the way we planned. That was a bummer. Andrew says, um, are you allowed to give live shows for three days? We all know perfection can't be rushed. <laughs> Actually, I think the longest you can do is, what is it? It's either four or eight hours on yeah. YouTube. Oh, my God. No. Perfection, I can't, perfection can't be rushed. You have no idea. <laughs> okay, this is the, uh, um, I think this is the large ball uh, tip for COVID. And I'm on a three. Dorothy Smith is asking, what was the racer you used again? It is the Vanish Foreign one in the drawer, second drawer, I think, in front of you. Um, I have like five of them. Oh. I, I really. No. These, oh, see, these ones. These ones. Oh, I have one of those. And you do have one of these. I'm sure you gave it to me. I did. It was... is this. Hopefully you can. Uh, it's called a Vanish Foreign one. Oh, maybe that's easier to read go oh 
<laughs> the kids are like, hey Joshua, Jeremy and Maddie, my awesome nephews and niece. I miss you guys. Maddie's squealing. <laughs> They're YouTube famous. Can you actually zoom in more? Oh, okay, over here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, where I'm working. There you go, a little closer. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm just going to try and get as much of the horn in there as I can. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Let me know if it needs to be. No, I just need to be able to see. I'm trying to. Um, I'm going to try to focus just on this area. Dorothy is saying, no, not that one. The one that was like a pencil. The eraser. Oh, this one is the Mono Zero. Where do you get that? I. Let's see here. In the US, this one I think I. You can get it on Amazon. Dick Blick and Jerry's. And what about the Vanish? Because I think Poncho is asking about the, van the Vanish. The Vanish, I've only been able to find at Jerry's Artorama online. <clears throat> and the Birch uh, panel is, um, I have the link down in the description for this Birch panel. I um, get those, these from Dick Blick. really hard <laughs> to do this live I don't care if I mess up if I mess up you guys ah what you don't care if you mess up well I do care if I mess up but yeah, I you care I don't care if I mess up in front of them okay because then they get to see how I will try to fix it but it's still hard just I'm used to burning with either a book or my music on and in fact <laughs> working on Eddie the cat I uh, was listening to my Zeppelin so every now and then <coughs> I don't know if it'll make the updated video but every now and then you can see my pen going dun, dun, to the beat of the music yeah. and I'm shading to the beat of the music oh yeah I do that sometimes and so it's hard not having it right now. Eve says American Art Supply stores have the Yeah. The Canadian ones are basically often the dude's last name. So I don't know where they They have Chicho's, Dig Blick, and Jerry's. Are the main ones. Jerry's Art Rama, yeah. And if you know I'm it's okay. I'm just tapping because in tapping, I get more texture. Uh. Or stippling. I don't want just a burnt straight line. It goes along with drawing um, the vanishing lines. They're more interesting. Let's see here, this one. Kids should be starting the school. Gosh, and Maddie and Jeremy. And even trying to get this um, part finished, it won't be fully finished until the rest of the bison is in because there's going to be a need to adjust contrast to match everything else.
I meant to set an alarm so that it was, you know, all special. Yeah. Hand me the drawing. Okay, well, let me explain it so that way there everybody knows what's going on. Let's see here. Can you, on the Logitech, can you zoom out? Zoom Just go out. to that one. All right, that gives us a little bit of room. Okay. What I did with the names is I put them in this bowl that Jason made in ceramics class. It's so pretty. Anyway, the names are in here. I folded them all. They're all cut to an equal size. They're all fo folded exactly the same. That way, when Jason reaches his hand in here, nothing feels different. We have five names. And I'm going to shake it one more time. I have, like, really... Anyway. Okay, so Jason's going to close his eyes. He doesn't know what names are in here. I didn't show him. So he has no idea. Let's see if we can get this in camera. Hold on. Ah. Okay, maybe we can't. Okay, just... <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yep. And... You got to give it to me. Oh. I can't read it? <laughs> no. Oh, if you want to read it, yes, you can read it. No. You can okay. read it. Okay. You sure? Yes. All right. What? Oh, flip it over. Oh, okay. All right. Fargus Waffle Star. Oh, there. I just made that up. You made that up. All right. It's Becky Tabor. Yay, congrats, Becky. I'll put it up here. Becky Tabor. Has won. And what has she won? She has won the chart pack. I don't know if I can get it in there. Touch up markers. Oh, you can see me on the screen. And it's the full set. Not has not been opened. I will contact you contact you through YouTube message and we can arrange everything so I can get it sent to you this week and if I don't get to hear from Becky by next Wednesday we will draw again because it's the only fair thing to do okay okay so congratulations Becky yay, yay. okay no noise <laughs> oh. and then you wanted me to oh, show Eddie, yeah, yeah. Show Eddie. So Eddie was what you were working on a couple weeks ago. Yes. This is the updated piece on Eddie. You know what? We can take... That off for now. Okay. So this is where I'm at. Um... I am, I am darkening up my darks along the top of his head and I have blended in what looked like a mask on him and the flowers I have erased the pencil lines now I don't want them to be as you know in your face pay attention as I do Eddie and this will have watercolor added I'm going to do the loose water color over it. So I, the paper burned very well. Um, and the next test is the watercolor and we'll see how it comes out. And, and keep in mind that this is a study, <laughs> which in, in Val, Valerie language is the same thing as a finished piece of art for anybody else. Mm -mm. But this is just a, I'm trying to... You're trying to get the whole thing in there? Yeah, oh. as much as I can. Gotcha. There. Just to make it a little easier. Yeah. I, I'm happy pretty much with him so far. I did make errors, and I tried scr uh, scraping out with... Crusty. I want 
is so blank. What is this? <laughs> exacto knife. Exacto knife. Yay. Yeah, I did something. <laughs> you do a lot. And actually, this one has the tip is broken off. And it's a little um, bent. But it works perfect for me to scratch out with. Oh, I use a, like a broken exacto to scratch like fine detail as well when I'm doing acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, drop that. It can stay there for now. <laughs> Thanks, Joshua. Audrey, or not Audrey, sorry. My, my eyes. Andrew Smith says, whoa. Okay, um, I'll try and do a better better delivery, Eve. <laughs> whoa! I like, I like a lot. Nice burning Valerie. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I, I don't know how to do Andrew because I don't know him. But anyway. He's in the UK. Oh, all right. Okay. Though I don't know if you want to do that voice. <laughs> no. I am kind of happy with how the flowers came out. I think it's going to be... I'm trying to make it where they faded out a little bit. So that there was no heavy border and outline. Eve says perfect. So. Wait, is that the picture or my delivery? <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the bison. Right. I just wanted to show you an update, and hopefully the video will be out in the next two weeks. So you're going to do like a speed video on that or something? Um, it'll be a speed burning part, and then probably a slow down, at least a little bit slow down watercolor. Sweet. Unless they want it in two videos where one's the burning video and one is the watercolor. Well, Concho says that's a beautiful job. So perfect. And Eve says both. Oh, so my delivery and the work. Thank you, Eve. <laughs> okay, let's get us back on the bison. Back on the bison. Seems like it would be dangerous. Yeah. Especially after we found out that they can jump up in the air vertically. Yes. Eve asked, is there a way you can scan and keep a backup scan of the bird? I was like, you know what? I know this is a study, air quotes, but it's in any other world, it's a complete and finished work. And the, so I asked her to skin it so that she would have a record of it just in the, the monochromatic, you know, burning style before she hits it with watercolor because I think it's really pretty as it is. And I'm sure it'll be beautiful with the watercolor. But I think that there's a certain charm to it when it's just monochromatic like that. And so ultimately, I think it's two pieces of work. I think you're going to have a finished, you know, colored piece of work. And then I think you're going to have the finished pyrography. You know, of course, the the original pyrography won't exist without the color. But you'll have, you know, the you'll have the the one that you can print. Probably should rescan it because the scanning scan didn't come out the best. Well, you could for a print or anything. Well, why don't we shoot it? Why don't we? Yeah. Okay. I'll take a photo of it. Yeah. It's clear. And congrats, Becky. I will get those sent out to you as soon as I hear back from you. says hi Valerie just got here from work hi hi Mark I know you don't know <laughs> I, I don't know okay. but you're learning I'm, I'm learning and we're just working on kind of a second layer for the lower part of the bison horn do you guys still want the picture that's up here on your left do you still want that up or do you want a want me to go ahead and take it down and zoom in a little bit more? It is much easier that um, 
that these aren't so nice and neat. Mm -hmm. Definitely get some leeway. I like doing organic stuff, like animals and things, because I, I don't like doing stuff with a lot of straight lines. I've never burned a building. That's probably good, and good we have that on record. That's right, Val has never burned a building. So stop asking. Maybe I should, though. Um, okay. That probably shouldn't be on record. <laughs> do you guys want... I, I know I need to do a person, which it would only be my second one on people, um, burning-wise. Um, Mark says, love the gradation. I have two things in my hands, and normally it's my glasses and like a, a cup, and today it was a, a bowl and a cup. So. And this is white for the most part, but we are not keeping it all white. And I know some people have a... I was looking at one of the wood burning groups, and people have a hard time with white. Just because something looks white doesn't mean it is white. And the best way to see that is to switch your photo over to black and white. That's right. Like me. I'm Cherokee. <laughs> but I look white. And I had Mark says... I burned you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it hurt. It hurt. Hey. Mark says, hi, I'll see to the gentleman I hear. Not sure of your name. Mark, this is my husband, Jason. Jason, this is Mark. Call me Hubcap. <laughs> you're not. You're my bling. I don't like bling. I can't pull that off. But you're my bling. Okay. You gave yourself that nickname, not me. No one's ever called me a gentleman before. No, have, have they? No, you must have been called a gentleman. No, that's a non-commissioned officer. Oh, good point. I know the horn looks off in that it's smaller here, and that's because we do have his hair covering. The horn actually comes to about here. Um, and it can throw you off. Just look at the shapes. Don't look at the detail. Right. Don't look at each and every line. Look at everything that's abstract. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Eve says all the burning innuendo gets old. Air quotes, innuendo. Yes. Oh, never gets old. Never I gets like, old. I thought you said it gets old. It's no, like, oh. She, she said, never gets old. Uh, never okay. gets old. That was short-lived. Mark, <laughs> Mark says, hubcap, I'm soup can. Hey, soup can. <laughs> See? See? You're not alone. We got soup. You do realize this is YouTube. It's here forever. I was aware signed on for this project okay and by signed on i mean <laughs> by you making me do this i did not make you do this and by making you do <sighs> this i mean you pulling me in here kicking and screaming oh that so did not happen <laughs> you were in there going hey aren't you going to include me don't forget me i want to help you can i help you kicking and screaming so the truth is, is it was a mix between that in other words, none of it happened. I was pressed into service, though. <laughs> you, that is no lie. How how were you pressed into service? How? Yes. Because you said, hey. Could you help me? Could you help me? That's not pressed into service. Because you know if you ask me to do something, I'm going to do it. 
You have to be careful with that. That's a power you possess. <laughs> oh, the ideas. Oops, did I say that out loud? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Try what you see, not what you think you see. Yes. And that is absolutely. I think that's like the foundation of like most art is that's like a truth here is darker hair and in order to get I don't want to go too dark on this part but if I keep burning because that's what I think I see it's going to be too dark and I'll have to sand back so I'm going to burn darker I'm just gonna use the same tip it's not very detailed hair, but I do need to go darker. And once I do this, it's going to pop it out more. And since this is in shadow, it helps. I, yeah, if I keep working on it, see it's already dark here, and so I really need to get this burned in without creating like a detailed I outlined it and because I was moving the pin sm uh, slower it does leave the blobs but that's okay for this area about four and a half we're going way up there so is that because of this pin? Or well, I mean, what's the max setting? You're going four and a half. The uh, max setting for the burner is ten. That's what I meant. Four and a half doesn't sound like way up there. No, but if but you can really see the darkness. So I don't burn on ten. I never. So for for like the surface that you're using, four and a half is is dark enough. Is dark enough. Yes. Okay. You have to take your surface into consideration. Um, and if I put this pin on 10, it's going to go carry red hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a question for Jason. Is Val a very patient person in general? And, <gasps> and you laughed at that? I laugh because your brother, Jason, oh, answers Baba. no. <laughs> oh, he's the one to talk. He is so one to talk. You're very patient when it comes to wood burning, but around Christmas, when it's time to open the presents, you're not very patient. I'm good. Just because I guess what's in each box without looking and taking is not my Or fault. when you're waiting for snow to come. Okay, that's a different story. You I love not, snow. You are not patient. I love snow. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to get you started on that. Let's... Yeah, it's still a couple minutes. Patience is not one of my virtues. Sorry. <laughs> but pyrography has helped me with that. Really very sorry. <laughs> and who's the one that's moved on? What? Exactly. Talking about it. I'm thinking about it. Let's see here. Is that popping a little bit more for you guys? <clears throat> I do see that. I can, there we go. Air. we do have a little bit it's not as dark so I'm going to dial it down to three to start with I didn't let my pen have time to cool off but I think it's going to be okay And this is just the basics of what the horn is going to look like. There will be so much more to it.
so off if I don't put some of the hair in. Okay, let's see how far does it go? Hair it goes all the way up to here. better I didn't want to leave it off leave it with just I do think pyography is a good place to start if you want to learn patience yeah yes Let's see here. not all of the hair is dark so I'm just gonna put in a couple of oh the mouse is Oh, the cursor is <laughs> right there. Well, oh, thank you. That's what I'm here for. And I thank you. Okay. See, I did go really dark there, and I will probably scratch a little bit out here just to give what looks more hair like. Mm -hmm. So you can tell the difference. This is the three setting, and this right here was four and a half. Yeah, you can tell. One thing I've noticed that I do, I'll have my reference photo up, but then I tend to not use it, and I need to get better about using it. Well. Everybody's always worried about finding their style. I still haven't found my style. I don't know what my style is. I just do it and That's your style. <laughs> just do it is my style. I thought yeah. that was Nike. No, and, and uh, burning, uh, drying with fire is no way affiliated with Nike. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, <laughs> no, I think your your style, and, and, and you know what? I think that we all struggle with that as artists. Like, oh, what's my style? But your style is the thing that you do, and it's not, and it's the thing that you do consistently. And so it's not a matter of like finding a style that you can define. It's what you end up with every time. And then people, you know, down down the road, and people will be like, "Oh, I want to burn in, you know, Valerie style." But your style is just who you are. And this is what you. That's why that when you do a air quotes uh, study, it looks like that because that's your style. Okay. Um. For me, ultimately, it's a matter of don't worry about it. Your brother is asking, can you do a live where you show the drawing process? That would, might be interesting, although that's very technical. Yeah. Um, that's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. I can draw um, with zero problems. I can draw, but because this is such labor-intensive, time-consuming. Like, for this pattern, I did not sit with a ruler and a proportional tool and a pencil and draw it out. I took it into Photoshop and brought out the lines that, was, that are important to me, that make sense to me most of the time. <laughs> um, and then just transferred it on. The drawing part for me really is using the least amount of lines in my pattern and then burning. Because I'm having to draw in what I want. Well, and that's the creative part as yeah. well. Baba, is there something specific you'd like to see me burn, uh, draw? 
because I'm trying to figure out how I would do that. Mark is asking. He, well, he's not asking. He says, "How you don't overburn dark areas? It's been years since I burned, but I always went too dark. Lovely work, as always." Thank you, Mark. Honestly, I start as light as I can. Um, that will whatever level will get me going because I do worry about overburning something. Now right now to me that looks extremely dark on that side but I have to remind myself that once I burn everything around it in it'll be hopefully it'll be the the um, value that it, it's meant to be. In like watercolor or work Anything that's permanent, it is always a an issue because when you start to because this is burnt so dark into the wood, I could sand it, but I'll, uh, of course I'll lose everything else. But there will still be a uh, remnant of this burn because. The uh, birch panel I'm using is quarter inch, and so the birch um, top layer isn't that thick. A lot of my burning also happens in my head. I, I know that sounds odd, but I go to sleep thinking about, though I didn't do it on the horn, so I'm <laughs> a little less prepared than I normally would be. I normally go through, as, as I'm falling asleep, I'm actually just relaxing, thinking about how I want to burn that section. Well, Mark says, he has to get back to work. So thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Mark. Wonderful live. Good to meet you, Hubcap. You too, soup can. <laughs> Cheers. And uh, by Eve. And thank you, too. So again, this is just the first layer. And even this part of the hair, the hair itself is going to change. I don't want to go too far into it because there are different la uh, layers and values. Um, but I think we'll end it here. Again, congratulations, Becky. As soon as um, I'm gonna hopefully guess that you're gonna watch this on replay and hear your name called. I will also leave um, the winner name down in the comments. And make that easy for everybody. We have more questions. Hi, Ryan. If I make a mistake and say overburned an area or accidentally burned an area that was supposed to remain the original wood color, how would I fix it? Sanding or scraping? Let's see if I can. I know I'm going to do. Okay, I got a little dark. I'm trying to pick a spot. I got a little dark in this area. I can scrape it. Burning, so I use the I use my eraser and it really pulls the residue. And it's just a matter of working on it until you get it back to where you want it. If it's a, if it's a really big area, then I would sand. In, in response to your question to uh, Jason. It's something like really simple, you know, and that way people could see how it works. Is this for you, Bubba, or is it for Joshua? Because <laughs> I know Jason can burn. Or he can draw. I don't know if he can burn yet. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'll see what I can do. Um, maybe that would be a good place to do the family crest. Since I did say I needed to, to draw one out. Mm. Maybe that would be a good place. Now, Ryan, I do have a video on fixing mistakes um, that shows what you need to watch out for while you're sanding and whatnot. And if you still have any questions, definitely let me know. Yes, please remember to hit the like button on the video. And uh, do we have anything else? Gosh. Okay, I'll you know what? I'll draw the family the uh, canal crest. That way Josh has something to get started with. Did he get a burner yet? That is something I want. Okay, well, I think we're going to go ahead and stop it here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to hit the like button down below, even on replay, and leave a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see. I didn't ask if you want me to, to continue working on the buffalo. We can. Um, maybe, okay, maybe next week on the bison we will work on the nose and mouth area because there's a lot of hair down there and different shadings. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And happy burning, guys. Thanks. Bye.